Now, the final theorem of this section provides an important result that characterizes diagonalizable matrices in terms of the two notions of multiplicity, algebraic and geometric, that we've reviewed in this section. Now, this theorem gives precise conditions under which an n by n matrix can be diagonalized even when it has fewer than n eigenvalues. So here we go, the diagonalization theorem. So we want to let matrix A be an n by n matrix whose distinct eigenvalues are defined as lambda sub 1 through lambda sub k. Now, the following statements are logically equivalent, meaning that these statements are either all true or they're all false. Our first statement says that matrix A is diagonalizable. The second statement says that the union of the basis of the eigenspaces of matrix A contain n vectors. And the third and final statement says that the algebraic multiplicity of each eigenvalue equals its geometric multiplicity. So let's go ahead and explore the diagonalization theorem by revisiting some of the examples we've previously seen in this section. Use the diagonalization theorem to determine if the following matrices are diagonalizable. Now, before we begin, let's recall that we actually looked at both of these matrices in explicit detail previously in this section. So we're really just verifying our conclusions here. So part A, let's begin by recalling what we found previously about this matrix. So we found the characteristic polynomial to be defined as 1 minus lambda squared times 3 minus lambda. We also found the following eigenvalues and their corresponding eigenspaces. So the first eigenvalues that we found were defined as lambda sub 1 equals lambda sub 2 equals 1, with the corresponding eigenspace e sub 1, which we can define as the spanning set of the vector 0, negative 1, 2. Now, let's pause for a cause here. While we know that matrix A has another eigenvalue, we have enough information to make our final conclusions. So let's observe that for lambda equals 1, this eigenvalue has an algebraic multiplicity of 2 because the binomial 1 minus lambda appears two times in the characteristic polynomial. However, this same eigenvalue has a geometric multiplicity of 1 because the dimension of our eigenspace, e sub 1, is 1. So therefore, by the diagonalization theorem, since the algebraic multiplicity does not equal the geometric multiplicity, we know that this implies that matrix A is not diagonalizable, which confirms our previous conclusion for this matrix. So in part B, again, we want to use the diagonalization theorem to determine if this beautiful 3 by 3 matrix A is diagonalizable. Now, since we've already looked at this matrix in detail, let's begin by recalling what we've already determined. So we found that the characteristic polynomial for this matrix was defined as minus lambda squared times lambda plus 2. We also found the following eigenvalues and their corresponding eigenspaces. So the first two eigenvalues that we found were lambda sub 1 equals lambda sub 2 equals 0, with the corresponding eigenspace e sub 0, which is equal to the space spanned by the set of vectors 0, 1, 0, and 1, 0, 1. So again, pausing for a cause here, we can see that this eigenvalue has an algebraic multiplicity of 2 because the term lambda appears twice in the characteristic polynomial, and it has a geometric multiplicity of 2 because the dimension of the eigenspace, e sub 0, is equal to 2. So here we have the algebraic multiplicity equaling the geometric multiplicity. So we can move on to case 2 
where we found the eigenvalue lambda sub 3 is equal to negative 2, with the corresponding eigenspace e sub negative 2 being equal to the space spanned by the vector negative 1, 3, 1. So we can see here that this eigenvalue has an algebraic multiplicity of 1, because the binomial 2 plus lambda appears once in the characteristic polynomial, and it has a geometric multiplicity of 1, because the dimension of the eigenspace e sub negative 2 is equal to 1. So then, therefore, by the diagonalization theorem, since we have observed that the algebraic multiplicity is equal to the geometric multiplicity for all eigenvalues, this implies that matrix A is diagonalizable, which confirms our previous conclusions for this matrix A.